So what is a Google top contributor? What's a Google top contributor? What is top contributor? What does that mean? If I have a question about a Google product, where should I go? If there's a problem with something that I have in Google, where do I want to go? Does Google have a help center? How do I get help with my Google products that I use? If you've ever asked any of these questions or you're curious what any of this means, check this out. Did you know that Google has a products forum that they use? This link right at the top, I'll highlight it. You can see listed here all the different Google products and there's a huge list and this is not totally inclusive, but it's a good start on some of the things that you commonly use. I personally am a Hangouts top contributor and also a Google Allo top contributor. So what exactly does that mean? Well, it's pretty interesting because Google, we're kind of their help center, if you think about it. What you would do is you would have a question. Let's say you have a question about Hangouts. I'm going to click on Hangouts, go in there. And when you're in there, you want to ask a question. You just put a new topic in here and you add a question. Now you'll be able to see here, you can see off to the right, people that have answered some of these questions, you can kind of see that over here. Here's one where you can see me. I've actually answered this question. Down here, you see one of my friends, Peggy K. She has responded to something. It's one of the people that came on one of my shows the other day. You can check out that link of that show right up here. But she answered a question. So you can kind of see these people, once people you may know. Let's go into one right now and we can see Here's a post and here's where I answered with a post, given a support page as a suggested answer and stuff. So when you come in and you have questions about certain things, experts come in and help you out or anybody can. You know, I was I started out, I wasn't an expert, but it, over time I was answering a bunch of questions so they asked me to be a rising star. And you say, what's a rising star? Well, let me just go through and see if I can find that for you. Okay, so anytime you're on one of the forums, you can click member view. And what that gives you is it shows you your top 16 people that have posted. And you can see right here, they have little emblems down at the side. And these emblems all mean something. The yellow star is a rising star. You can see right there, the green one is a top contributor. Peggy, platinum top contributor. Myself, platinum top contributor. Then over here we have uh, expert Google products. Okay, these people come in and help out and work with Google. Um, they're not employees, but they work with them. And then right here you see, this is actually a Google employee. It's got the G there. That's our community manager for Hangouts, Aaron. So that kind of shows you what the people do and that kind of thing. So you can find out, uh, you know, who's answering your questions. Now let's click on mine for a second. Once we click on mine, you can see I'm a platinum top contributor. I've had 50 best answers in Hangouts, 50 plus, could be plus. I'm an ambassador and I'm also a mentor. I mentor other people. So if I see you posted inside this community a bunch, I can recommend you to be a rising star. Okay, so let's go, we're going back out here. Um, you can see right here where it says answered. So it actually has, that's what a best answer looks like or someone marked mine as a best answer. I just happen to know this one's mine. If I go in there, you can see two experts replied. We have a rising star that replied and then myself. Both of us replied to this and marked as a best answer by Penelope. The rising star actually gave my mark as a best answer. What does all this mean? Really all it means is, is that we're helping people. We're trying to help people get answers to issues that they may have. And there's all kinds of stuff. So let's just do one, get one started anyway, so you can kind of see what that's like. I'm gonna use Allo this time. So if I wanna write a new topic, I want to, over here are some categories that you have to fill in first. And I always like to check email me discussion activities because I wanna know when someone's answered, so I get an email right away, it lets me know. So I want to 
report an issue, ask a question, start a discussion, provide feedback or a feature request, let's just say, uh, or share a tip. Um, you can do any one of these things. Let's just say um, report an issue. I don't have one, but I'm just gonna say. I'm using Allo on my Android device, and my post is about, let's just say, uh, stickers and emojis. And I come over here and I say, my emojis seem blurred. Probably not anything any one of us can do or help, but we can see if it's a consistent problem. So that's one of the things that's kind of nice is to have this. So here's where you put your description in and maybe show a uh, screenshot. Screenshots are great. Put your screenshot in there and that way people can help even better when they can see what the issue might be. Another thing you might wanna do is say that I'm on Android Oreo. And what version, 8.1.10, you know, whatever it is. And then you can also put, you know, any other information you can give them. Allo version, Allo version, you know, 1.7, you know, whatever the number is there. Any of that kind of information that you can give helps people understand and maybe get closer to what your issue could be or might be. One great reason to maybe do this is because if there's a constant common problem and we can see multiple people having the same issue, then it really can show up as a bug. Let's say you forgot to put email on there, but you wanna see all of your responses. You can go under actions right here up at the top. And when you do, you can filter this. So I can filter by all of my discussions. I just want my discussions, okay? One thing that I do whenever I come in and start to do reply for the people and helping people out, I go in with where they have no replies. I go in right away and show all the ones where there hasn't been any replies. So that way, if someone's already answered, that's fine. They're already helping them. But if, if, if for some reason, see, like these haven't been answered yet. So I can go answer these right now. And you can see a topic like right here, Hangouts. I cannot use the desktop app after I enter in my email address, chat open, da 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 da, etc. And then I could go through and answer that if I know the answer. Okay. If you don't, you just pass it along. You can also follow it. You can plus one it. Vote this post up. If somebody answered a good question, you can vote it up. Sometimes, since I am a mentor top contributor, I'll go in with the within last modify within the last 24 hours and go see what those are. So that way I can see. If somebody's answering something uh, really well, they're having good answers and they're responding and they're getting stuff out there, I can go in and give them a best answer because of what I saw or what I felt like was a good answer and stuff. Do you have a question about Chrome, YouTube, Allo, Hangouts, Gmail, Google Photos, Google Drive, Google Fi, uh, Google Play, uh, Google Home? inbox google maps you get my point right so if you know a lot about a particular product one of these products and you want to get in to help somebody get in and help somebody and and become a top contributor and a rising star and at all the different levels get involved you can help out i'm going to attempt to put some links in the uh maybe in cards or possibly down in the description of some links to top contributor videos and kind of show you uh, some videos that are helpful in learning a little bit more about what the top contributor program is. But I just wanted to take some time out because a lot of people don't even know about this. So I wanted to share this with you. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I do a lot of stuff with MD Quick Tips. Um, here's my channel in the background. You can please subscribe to my channel Give me a thumbs up whenever you're on a video and you like the video. Also, see my upcoming live streams down below. All of this stuff is right here for you. I hope this has been very helpful to you. Please check out these other videos as well that you'll see at the end. Thank you very much.